Hey guys, welcome back to the Pass Money Plan. Today we're going to be reacting to this video on the law of attraction. Most people, the bottom 80% are lazy and they're looking for an easy way. They're looking for a shortcut to be successful. And there are not there aren't any. But if you do something repeatedly over and over, you develop a habit. So most people are in the habit of looking for easy ways to get the things they want. And they're surrounded by people who think the same way. You know, as much as 95% of your thinking is determined by the people that you associate with on a regular basis. If you associate with people who don't work hard, don't learn, socialize after work, then you become like them. You think like them, you talk like them, you dress like them, you marry them, and so you're married to someone who also has no ambition and you raise children and your children have no ambition just go to work and complain about your work but top people associate with other top people there is what you've heard about the law of attraction and the law of attraction says that if you change the way you think you start to attract new people into your life you start to meet other people who think the same way before i pass it off to you kirby i want to make a comment a little rant because i've heard of the law of attraction from the wrong way of understanding it by people and it's the same people that believe in all the magical spiritual shit that doesn't exist so the way he explained it is how it is and we've always talked about it you know you surround yourself with five millionaires you'll be the six you surround yourself with five four people you'll be the six and that's really how it is in reality i mean surrounding yourself with the top people will make you one of the top but with that being said, I just had to shoot some shots at those people that are always bringing up magical this, their, their star symbol. What I, It's just, yeah. So this is the law. Right, of right. First thing I'm going to say is he ain't lying. That's, that's the first thing. And the reason why I'm saying he ain't lying is because, as y'all just don't understand, I am the epitome of these reaction videos. What I mean by the epitome of it, the thing that I used to do and the, how I used to act, it attracted the people that I was around. What I mean by that is when I thought that I was city slicker, I could move faster. And then, you know, especially everybody from up north, like let's say you divide the United States in half. Everybody that lives above, you know, Mississippi, Tennessee, they think they're from the city and they can outsmart and outthink the people in the South. I had the same talent. So, when I go down south, when I moved to Texas, uh, from Detroit, I moved to Texas. Oh, I just thought I could talk faster. I could move better than everybody else. But what it attracted me to was other people that was from up north that will talk faster and talk slicker. But we ain't doing nothing. We just talking fast. You know, I call it treadmilling, going nowhere fast. You know, <laughs> that's what we was doing. And and then so I had that mentality. Oh. It's slick ways to do this, slick ways to do this. So what did I surround myself? Around people that's trying to find slick ways and shortcuts to get to success. Like this gentleman said, that there is no shortcut to success. He's not lying. Because it was, and like I said, I, when I'm in Texas, I'm surrounded by people that's trying to find the shortcuts, shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. We still all broke, but we think we got the next great idea. But then soon as I started changing my mentality and, and, Again, the people that everybody loves, they hate Dave Ramsey. He gave me that inkling, that idea to start changing my mindset. And then so I started reading his books and listening to his audio books. And I started changing my mindset. And then as my mindset changed, the people I hung around changed. Like when I when I moved from, when I was 19 years old and I left Detroit and I moved to Texas, I never thought I could say, I can call up a billionaire right now. Never in my wildest dream. But I could call up somebody who knew the greatest hustle to get me a couple hundred dollars in my pocket by tomorrow. But I couldn't obtain that wealth until I start changing my mindset. I start changing my mindset. And then next thing you know, now I run into now I know multiples of millionaires, billionaires, and things like that. That I mean, not a lot of billionaires, but I know multiples of millionaires. But it was because my mindset changed, the way I operated changed, the things I did changed. I can't be that same dude from Detroit, you know, hustling and bustling, trying to find a quick buck and think I'm going to find millionaires is hustling and bustling and trying to find a quick buck. That's not how it works. I changed my mindset to how millionaires think. Start doing what they did to get to that million. I started looking at their roadmaps. Not, I'm not trying to say 
I'm listening to Warren Buffett. I'm not saying, hey, Warren Buffett, tell me how I can go from zero to be right there where you are. No, I'm saying, hey, Warren Buffett, tell me where you was at when you was, I mean, Warren Buffett's a, you know, it's, it's a pretty good analogy, but it's a bad analogy because Warren Buffett, he had that sense since he was young. He was like, Alan. But, you know, people that started off broke and then tell me what landmines did they go through to get there? And I'm willing to avoid those landmines to start getting on a journey. If I'm halfway there, so Warren Buffett is, is, is billions. Dave Ramsey, he's close to a billion. But the people that's in the, you know, millions, this is when I'm broke. The people that's in the millions, if I get halfway to where you're at, I'm way better than where I was at. But most people have that mentality of, oh, it got to be quick. No, I'm just trying to go through the journey. I'm trying to go through the journey as fast as possible, but just avoiding the landmines. I know I can't go from zero to where, you, where you're at now, but how about I get 1% better every day? Saying I'm 100% better than where I was, you know, 100 days from now. That's that's the mentality that people don't have. And then it goes to the association of people that they're with. The people that's looking for a quick buck is going to be around the people that's, that's looking for a quick buck. But then they're going to miss the people that's going to show them how to get there for sure. Grant uh, Cardone said, do you want to get rich quick or do you want to get rich for sure? And I, I care about the for sure. I don't care about the quick. I don't care how long it takes me to get there. I just want to be there for sure. And most people don't look at it like that. They just want to get rich quick so they can do what everybody's doing on social media. But this guy right here, he said the epitome of what the law of attraction is. You attract what you are. I mean, people will sit there and say, oh, I got married to the total opposite. No, they're not the total opposite. They just, they just don't overtly say the things that you say, but they believe in some of the stuff you say. I mean, I look at it now, like, let's say I wasn't married or nothing and I'm out free bachelor and I'm looking for somebody. It's no way in hell that I would get with somebody that has the opposite mentality of what I have. No way in hell. And I, and I always tell you, Alex, my wife crazy. Because my wife always, my wife was like you, you know, uh, let's not spend a dollar, let's just hold everything. My wife, I hoodwinked, bamboozled my wife, tricked her. You can say whatever you want to, because I was the total opposite of that. I would ball to your fall, blow the bag, spend it because you can't take it with you. I was that guy. My wife was, when I say the epitome of you, my wife was you. Well, I said was. She still is you. She probably she probably over here counting pennies right now. But what I'm saying is, is, but it took me to Change that my mindset that I was in because my wife, she was all about saving, but I was making her poor. That's what that was the truth. That's what I was doing. And then so when I changed my mindset of, hey, let me start doing what the people with money doing. Let me start doing go start going on that that roadmap that they already paid. Let me just get on that roadmap. I don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just let me get on that roadmap. And then I will find my niches going along the journey. And that's what my wife's mindset meshed with my mindset. Before that, I mean, I'm trying to tell you, it was bad. It was bad. I was, I was just out there. My wife was saving. I was out there. That's how I was. That's that's exactly how I was. And and then people people today that knew me back then, they still say, "Oh man, I remember Kirby. I remember when." No, I try to act like I got amnesia. I don't know that guy. I don't even know that guy. <laughs> that guy that you know, I don't know. I, me and him, we broke up a long time ago, but that's what it is. And and I and I tell my wife all the time, my wife like, you tricked me. Yeah, I tricked you. Because I ain't had that mindset at all. But go ahead, what you got? No, it's these are great points. And like, um, you know, growing up, I never I mean, just to make it clear, I mean, because I know you always say that I, I sound like I'm perfect on here, but just to be clear with everybody watching, like I grew up with the same people everybody grows up with, you know, so it, it's like um, when they talk about the 1%, that's the statistic. That's 1% of the people that actually do different than the 99%. And so I grew up with them like regular people. Like the only thing that differentiated me at the end of my education at high school was, you know, going into adulthood was I need to think different. I need to do something different. Like it was just me having that mentality, me switching my my thought process differently, because 
I was already watching how everyone behaved and acted and what they had in their life wasn't what I wanted in my own life. So I think everybody is capable of just making that decision and surrounding themselves with the right people. But um, do they? No, uh, you know, they, they want to, they want to go with the crowd. And so I think we can't emphasize enough um, using, using emotion is not the way to go in your life in these situations because you use emotion, you go with the wrong crowd. You use emotion, you're doing things that make you feel good. Going out when you can't, you know, going out to parties when you can't, going out to blow money when you can't, doing all these dumb things. And I see it too, like you said, the city slickers, like the people that come from New York mostly, that's who we have a lot down here in Florida is New Yorkers. And they talk like that. They're very fast paced and all this and that. And they they and I've heard them say like, oh, this is all business is easy. I grew up in New York like but you're still broke. You're still poor. Like, what are you actually accomplishing? What are you actually doing? And, you know, I've spoken to some of them and I've told them, you know, how I am or uh, the people I hang out with. There's not, you know, many that actually you know, I can list about three, you included, but I always get the, oh, you're just, you're too sophisticated. You're, you're, you're thinking of it too much. It's it's not that like, no, how about you change your thinking, you know, and try to be different from the rest of the crowd. Like everyone wants to be at the top, but no one wants to actually do the work or change their mindset to become one of the top. And, you know, so it's, it's very interesting to see the, the behavior of people and how they how they are in in society and life you know it's you are 100 percent in control of the decisions you make and the life you will have and the people you surround yourself with and that will attract more knowledge that will attract i mean i'm constantly learning um from you especially you know there's constantly something that you can learn from the right people to improve yourself and improve yourself in all ways you know and people just make way too many excuses for themselves and surround themselves with the wrong people because they're too emotional and they care for those people and they love those people and those people are just doing nothing but holding them back from the potential them their potential selves. Yeah, I agree 100 percent With all that being said, please like, subscribe, like, subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. Uh, and comment in the comment section below and We'll see you in the next video. Yeah, have a go. See you guys.